everyone and welcome back. Today I'm excited to share with you four items that I have given makeovers to, all of which I have found at the thrift store. So let's go ahead and get started. The first project is to transform this wooden tray that I found for less than $5 into something that looks like a rustic dough bowl. First things first, I took it outside and gave it a light coat of spray paint. I used a Rust-Oleum satin finish spray paint in the color Heirloom White. After the paint had dried, I took the tray back inside and dug out a piece of fine grit sandpaper. I then started giving the whole tray a heavy sanding. My goal for this piece was to be able to see more of the base color than the top coat. After a few minutes of sanding, I had the look I was hoping for. Halfway through this project, I decided to leave the inside of the tray less distressed than the outside, and I think it turned out pretty good. The finished result is a dough bowl looking tray, and I absolutely love it. It's made the perfect base for my fall dining room centerpiece. Today's second project started out as a simple metal lamp that I found at the thrift store for $5. I picked it up because I liked its shape and simplicity, but its finish didn't work very well for my home. So time for some more spray paint. I once again used my Rust-Oleum paint in heirloom white with a satin finish to cover the whole base of the lamp. Once the paint had dried, I grabbed my fine grit sandpaper and lightly gave the lamp base a sanding to bring out some of the base color. I concentrated most of the sanding to the small details towards the bottom of the lamp and the legs. This gave the base a little more dimension. Once I was finished sanding, I brought the lamp upstairs to my master bedroom and placed it on my bedside table. I added a thrift store lampshade and a light bulb and the lamp was ready to be used. To finish decorating the side table, I propped a framed print against the wall, added a weathered trinket box also from the thrift store, and a faux plant from Hobby Lobby. The whole grouping turned out very nice and my now spruced up lamp looks very nice in my room. I found these four spindles at the thrift store for a total of $3.99. I love the shape of them, but the heavy looking stain was not to my liking. Works great as a base color though, so you probably guessed it, out came the white paint. I chose an acrylic paint in the shade Vanilla Ice Cream by Apple Barrel, and with the help of a small flat paintbrush, I started giving each spindle a light coat of paint. I plan to heavily distress each spindle so I was not too particular about keeping my painting very neat. I just sort of slapped it all on and moved to the next spindle. <laughs> For the paint to dry, I took my fine grit sandpaper and started giving the spindles a sanding. I love how 
using the sandpaper highlights all the details on the spindles. To use my newly painted and distressed spindles, I place them in a basket on my hutch. I really enjoy how such a simple item like a spindle can add so much texture and character to a space. For today's final project, I'm using this Corabel that I found for $1.99 and I plan to give it a chippy, crackled finish. I borrowed some glue from my daughter's slime making supplies and I'm using vanilla ice cream paint from Apple Barrel. I grabbed two paint brushes, one for the paint, one for the glue, and also a small dish to pour the glue into. I'm going to be working only on one side and the middle of the core belt first, leaving the other side for later. I thought this was a good way to handle all three sides without overlapping too much. First things first, I poured some of the glue into the dish. And then using one of my paintbrushes, I simply started painting the glue onto the Corvel. Once both sides of the Corvel had been painted with glue, I set it off to the side to dry completely. Once the glue is dry, it's time for a nice thick coat of paint. Corabel completely covered in paint, I set it off to the side to dry. Once the paint was almost completely dry, I used my finger to brush off the paint in certain areas to give the whole look a more chippy, distressed look. This is how it looked after the paint had dried. But of course, it wasn't quite chippy enough for me, so I took my sandpaper and I distressed a little bit more. finished sanding I liked the chippy distressed look so now I just need to flip it over and finish the opposite side in the same way. I decided to use my Corbel in my craft area on a shelf to prop up some books and I absolutely love the way it turned out. So there you go my friends, four makeovers to personalize my thrift store finds. Every project turned out great and I love how they have that distressed farmhouse look that I love. Thanks so much for watching today and I will see you again in my next video. Bye now!